Welcome back to Talk of the Town. The phone lines are open and our legal expert, Judge Muriel Robinson, is here and is ready to answer your questions. As always, good, good to see you. Uh, right now we have Mary with us. Mary, thank you for watching and go ahead, please. Yes, uh, I had a question about my uh, grandparents' rights. Yeah, go ahead with the question. Uh, I don't uh, get to see my grandchild very often. And uh, I was wondering if there is any grandparent right. Well, we do have some grandparent visitation uh, statutes. However, they're linked up with the parents. Do you have a good relationship with both the parents or one parent of this child? She's off the phone now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, if you do, uh, the child that you get along with, uh, you should visit during the time that they have. Uh, now, if you're crosswise with either the mother or the father, then you'd have to petition the court and show that you had an ongoing relationship with the grandchild before problems developed. And then they might award you visitation. It would, would not be every other weekend. It would, might be limited because the parents are the ones that have more time with, mm -hmm. the, with the parenting time, shifting it back and forth under a visitation order. Okay. But uh, there is a grandparent visitation statute, and I would contact a domestic relations attorney to check into that. All right. Right now, we have got Jenny with us. Jenny, thank you for watching, and go ahead, please. Uh, yes, my question is, my husband and I have been separated for about eight years now. He lives in a different state now. I'm on Social Security and a pension. He's on disability. Can I still do a do-it-yourself divorce? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I would suggest you go by the clerk's office uh, in your county and see if they have any forms for non-contested uh, uh, divorces where you can handle it yourself. And if you're just going to agree to get a divorce uh, on irreconcilable differences and each of you keep your own property and your own pensions, then you could probably do that without any kind of problem. If you run into something, then you need to contact the Bar Association and be referred to a domestic relations lawyer. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see, this is Marcus. Marcus, thank you for watching, and go ahead, please. Hey, I got a quick question for you. I, got, I caught a felony back in 2002, and I only just have one. Is there any way that I can get that one felony expunged? Well, what you need to do is contact the bar and talk to a good criminal lawyer because there, there are certain circumstances where your record can be expunged, but a felony conviction is a big-time deal. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, it never hurts to ask, and sometimes things are under judicial discretion, so just check it out with your uh, legal uh, criminal attorney. Melissa, thank you for watching. If you will quickly go ahead with your question, please. All right. I have a question about alimony. I received it 15 years ago in my divorce, and it's alimony for life. And uh, I have not uh, gotten any increase since the divorce. Okay. Well, Same if way I can get it. Yes, you could file a petition uh, to uh, increase the um, alimony. You'd have to show a change of circumstance, and after you file the petition, your lawyer would have to take discovery to see if he's had an increase in assets or whatever. And of course, you probably need more money because the cost of living has risen. So all those are factors. So get a d good domestic re uh, relations lo lawyer and file a petition to increase based on a change of circumstance. All right. As always, great Thank information. You. Thank you for being with mm -hmm. us today. If you'd like to get in touch with Judge Robinson, she is here the third Tuesday of every month.